This is a relatively hard cataract with a moderately dilated pupil in a diabetic. So here I am putting in my 2.8 millimeter incision and after dyeing the capsule with uh, trifan blue, I go ahead and under HPMC I am uh, performing my capsular excess with a 26 gauge needle. So I am just trying to hug the pupil as much as possible and ensuring at the same time that I get a, an adequate excess around a 5.5 mm excess probably a 5 mm excess in this case yeah it's a little bit on the smaller size in fact it's probably less than 5 mm anyway so I then go ahead do the hydro dissection watch that nucleus movement forward just to ensure that it has been done so and I'm always having my eye on that calcific spot in the lower capsule and that's why I avoided the rexus going there. I avoided that rexus engaging that calcific spot and hence the smaller rexus. Then I take my 2.8 millimeter FACO tip and my sharp chopper and after aspirating some superficial cortex I proceed to do my direct FACO chop. And I'm at about uh, 70 to 80 percent fake, 70 percent fake opa, 400 millimeters of vacuum, 40 ml fluorate, and looks like that's adequate. So just make sure. You propagate this chops to the center even if you have to do it at multi level you can see that central disc there forming invariably tells you that you have a backbone. So you need to persevere and try and break that. So I'm trying to make as many pieces as possible. This must be at least around eight pieces. That was not a good job. And so I went to the next piece. You can see that central disc being eaten and then the chop, uh, the segment coming into your paper tip and now it will become much easier. Just trying my best to keep it at the iris plane or lower. The trick in all these cataracts is to FACO at as low plane as possible. It's not about the FACO time, it's not about the FACO path, it's about staying away from the cornea. And the more you achieve that, the clearer your cornea is going to be the next day. Yes, FACO time matters, FACO power matters, all that matter. But the most important factor, I believe, is the distance from the cornea. Even if you use low power, low time, but if you are FACOing close to the cornea, you are going to get corneal edema. And that is a fact. 
So once all that is done, I go ahead and proceed to remove the cortex with my bimanual. This is certainly is a small excess. And now it's time to implant the lens. And I go ahead and inject this. Uh, hydrophobic uh, PMMA tipped IOL. Attempting to inject it directly into the bag. Not always it happens. So then, then I just help it along with my Sinsky hook. After which I remove the HPMC, put in my intracameral antibiotic, hydrate the wounds, perform the pounds test and conclude my surgery. Thank you so much for watching this surgery.